Law Career Services presents Interviewing. The purpose of the interview is for both you and the employer to get to know each other and to determine whether or not you want to form a professional employment relationship. The employer is assessing whether your skills and abilities add value to the organization and whether or not you are a good fit for that organization. You are determining whether the organization will provide you with the opportunity to advance your professional growth and whether the organization is a good fit for you. In order to prepare for the interview and to succeed in it, you should engage in the following three steps. Step one, research. Step two, practice. And step three, look the part. With regard to the things to research, you need to research the following four items. The position, the employer, the industry that employer supports, and the applicant, or you. Let's start with the position. Find out what skills, tasks, and work are part of the job. Start with the job description and then talk to your network, law career services staff, professors, and or alumni. If you have applied to a law firm, then research the areas of law that they practice in the office to which you have applied. For a law firm or any other employer, make sure to research the organization's culture and determine what distinguishes that organization from its competitors. Finally, look at how the organization has performed in the last year. All lawyers represent clients. For lawyers that represent corporate clients, this means that they, rep that they represent clients that support, that are in an industry. You want to know what the most recent developments and trends in that industry are and how they affect the issues that the lawyers have been working on. Finally, you need to research yourself. You need to know about your relevant skills, experiences, and knowledge which are related to the job. In other words, you need to be able to articulate how you add value to the employer. You need to be able to describe these so that they are well understood. Begin by matching all of the skills needed to perform the job to experiences you've had when you use those same qualities in the past. Go through your resume and cover letter in order to identify these skills. In order to conduct your research, you can use the following resources. The organization's website, recruiting resources for law firms such as Vault.com, the NALP Directory of Legal Employers, and Chambers Associates. For employers which are not law firms, you can use legal and other media such as Lexis and Westlaw. And of course, your network is also an extremely helpful and valuable tool. This includes the people you already know and people you are adding to your network who know about or have worked for the employer. Practice your interview skills. Participate in the mock interview programs that Law Career Services organizes or use the mock interview module on SCU Law Jobs. Ask anyone in your network who has hiring experience to give you a mock interview, even if their hiring experience is not in the legal profession. Finally, practice on your own. Write out questions and practice your answers out loud. You can do this in front of a mirror or you can videotape yourself, watch the video and assess your performance and look for opportunities to improve. Finally, look the part. Begin by Googling yourself. If you don't think an employer will like what they find, adjust your profile and privacy settings now. Buy and wear formal business attire, even in Silicon Valley. Do not wear business casual. This means that you will need a suit and a tie for men, a pant or skirt suit for women, along with closed-toed shoes with a low heel. Suits should be in a neutral color. If in doubt, assume a higher standard and err on the side of the conservative. A good resource is www.simsdress.com. On the day of the interview, arrive at least 15 minutes before the interview. Bring a copy of your resume, writing sample, unofficial transcript, piece of paper, and pen. When you meet the interviewer, give them a firm and brief handshake and look the interviewer in the eye. Be aware of any distracting habits you might have. These include the use of words such as like or um, playing with your pen, or tapping your fingers. Use your body language to show interest, lean in and talk to the interviewer, and engage in eye contact. A good resource for body language is Amy Cuddy's talk, 
given at a TED conference at www.ted.com. Remember that the interview is a two-way street for both you and the employer to determine whether or not you want to form an employment relationship. Therefore, you need to ask intelligent, open-ended questions to help you decide if the position is right for you. Examples of these include questions like, can you tell me about the types of assignments handled by a first-year associate or a summer associate? How will I work with you? How will I, as a summer associate, work with you, a more senior associate or a partner? What opportunities are there for professional development training and mentoring? At the end of the interview, ask the interviewer about the next step in the interview process. This will help you determine the hiring timeline and give you a sense of where you stand depending upon their response. Regardless of whether or not you believe you will receive a job offer, send a thank you letter. After all, the interviewer gave you some of his or her time. Do this within 24 hours of the interview. An email is fine and you can always send a handwritten note as a follow-up. Don't blow the interview by engaging in any of the following behaviors. Lack of job, employer, or industry knowledge. Failing to relate relevant experience to the job. Poor or inappropriate personal appearance. Distracting behavior or appearance. Describing experiences negatively. Failing to express yourself clearly. Being discourteous or cynical and not asking any questions. Don't forget the three steps to success. Research, practice, and look the part. Good luck with your interviews, and we look forward to hearing about your success.